All right, what's up? So back again. It's been it's been too long, and since Guido threw out the challenge for a contest, and I figure I'd go ahead and take a look. Now, gonna gonna try to see what may have been able to do, be done a little different, and uh, you know, it, it's it's gonna be really hard because it's Guido. It's it's, it's gonna be hard to catch him slipping. So. Uh, he's here in the Snug 3, we're on proc encounter, and he's packing the 75. Oh my god, get all these stupid extra missions out of my damn way. So, I mean, okay, let's just kind of go through. We got Binox, we got Camelnet, I place very little value in the Camelnet itself, mainly because once you fire, uh, oh, your Camel is gone. So it's only helpful in if you're trying to sit there and be sneaky. And it it ends the minute you have to actually start engaging. So that's that's one reason I put very little value on the camel net. On on my own Stug 3, I bought it back just because reasons. <laughs> uh I, I don't have a camel net. I'll keep the binox because uh view range, highly important. And so, what else we got going on? We're of course on proc. We got one artillery, both teams. You got the AMX, so uh, it won't be in theory. It shouldn't be able to do a lot of damage. It'll just be really fucking annoying because it's one of the faster firing. But it's got very low stun, very, very, very bad French. So, it shouldn't be as big a problem. Let's just see Matilda. They got two Cavaliers. Whatever the fuck that is. <laughs> I know it's British. We got a Polish tank over there. We got Stug 4. Stug 4 is just a crappier version of the Stug 3. So, oh. Okay, I mean, just right away. I, I don't think much about Cavaliers, but I think even less about the Valiant. It's nothing but a gold spamming piece of shit. So, what else we got going on? Cruiser 4. What the hell is that doing here? That thing doesn't have a long hair. Get it out. We're even just going to go ahead and uh, mix up all the tiers so it makes things slightly more challenging. So, here we are. We're on counter. And so... So, right away, what, what should have been done? So, I'll... There's a, basically three positions to play from. You could try going for the hill and be a little sneaky. I may have done that myself, but the results are very uh, questionable on what would end up happening. Or you could go try to work somehow toward the center, again, because we're in the casemate TD a uh, questionable option, or you could just go on the one-two line where all you got to do is stare down it, and maybe occasionally try to shoot a scout as it uh, crests the center ridge. And just because this is also a casemate, there is an option of sitting back here on the railroad tracks. So you might, something that could have been done, uh, I don't, I still don't think that would have been a great one, but one-two line is pretty much a solid choice for the casemate. And the Stug 3, unlike uh, some higher tier uh, German TDs, is very much the uh, sit in bush and chase night. You want, you really do not want to be seen in this thing. Armor is, it's, I, it's, it's got some angles, but the thickness itself isn't nothing to write home about. So, I mean, right about now, I'll be just be kind, of, just need to chill a minute and see what may start peaking up. Let's not get start getting too crazy. May have had a shot on that. He looked like he may have been high enough. So, just chance. Okay, we got the duck. Unfortunately, it's on the ridge. He's on the other side of the road, so we're not ever going to have a shot. Okay, Luke's is getting tore up, so I'm, honestly, with that Luke's, I am, and I think Guido thinks the same damn thing, is see where he is? That is a uh, pretty far forward. So I do think we got we got a clown up in this bush over here. 
But if we think start thinking about firing or moving around too much, we're going to be lit next. Now, okay. Now, this, the one tip for the Stug uh, 3G, the Tier 5 one, it's the one number one tip. It is actually faster to do a 180 of the entire tank and r drive forward than it is to uh, reverse. It is faster to turn all the way around and drive forward than to reverse the two feet you need. But right now, I mean, we're not really under any pressure, so reversing is uh, an alright decision. Again, we're that, uh, where our friendly died in front. Yeah, the Lukes was. Uh, not very thrilled with this position, because now we're even more exposed right here, as soon as we fire. And I, I still think someone might have been up in that bush. Although we probably will be... Yep, there's someone in that bush. God damn it, I hate being right. Now this is very questionable. And right away, we were only ever going to get one shot out of that. Because we're in the middle of the friggin' field and it's a friggin' looks. So we were only ever going to get one shot out of that. Now, right about now, we are definitely lit and... Uh, I think the best course of action is flip the tank around and run the hell away as fast as we can. Zigzag and pretend uh, you're part scout and you've just been lit. Now, slowly reversing, I would not recommend. Okay, so, like I said, the reverse gear is just so slow on the stug. So it's, it is faster to flip the tank around. You know, if you don't got it yet, get the uh, clutch braking so you flip the tank around even faster. Okay, but, alright, so we got the one troll clear. There's at least T14 and a T6. Wow, we got two more down here. But we really ain't got any good spotters running, and here we go. This guy needs to go bye bye. I think he's pretty much hold down using the wreck in front. So, definitely a good call with going with gold. It, it helps if we hit him. So, yeah, we're just going to spam the gold, hopefully at him. Yeah, he's definitely pushing that wreck around. He ain't fully covered. Okay, got another good one. Not bad. Go ahead and check. I kind of saw the AMX pop up on the minimap, and I kind of wanted to see him a little sooner but I mean it's alright just stay focused and handle business oh that guy stopped uh, not sure if you fully caught that or you know you were just in the motion of hitting it just had to let it go anyway it happens all right now we're just chilling and uh, Okay, what do we got going on? So we got our T-14 up on the hill. We got a Panzer III moving in. I'm pretty sure this T-6 is on our side of the track, so questionable. Yeah, he's on our side. SU is doing uh, the one that went to the position I kind of suggested. Cavalier is trying his best, I hope, <laughs> to try and uh, light up any more trolls on this uh, back line, but... At some point, he's going to have to move forward to get more spots. And the 14 DP, just, he just needs to stay down. He's already pretty much a one-shot. Okay, so there's still all the camp. we got several trolls. We just spotted the T6 moving in. That's, and we didn't get lit. That was nice. Definitely agree. Let's start moving over and trying to help with the uh, hill. We might be able to get in some uh, sneaky shots here and stay out, stay low enough that they can't spot us. Come on. Of course, this requires the T14 to do the smart thing and uh, keep them lit. It's already lost about half. We gotta get lower. Either gotta get above the uh, cars there or get underneath them. And T14 dived. Shit. I can't believe he got ran off by a couple of Panzer threes. For, for my money, I would have gone lower. I think it would have been faster to go lower than try to maybe get above the cars. 
but it, it eventually worked out a bit. Okay, he moved. Okay, we got the T6 starting to get uppity. But we're getting we're getting up high, so those guys might be having shots. I may have just auto aimed it. Because this guy was clearly not going to go anywhere. It was just going to give me any shot I felt like I wanted. Okay, again, we're having the uh, Stug 3 is completely shit at reversing. Uh, so, uh, straightening up this way, I don't know. I still feel flipping the tank around is the fastest way to pull ass out of the fire. But, obviously, had to know that you maybe start taking some shots from the hill as well. So, probably would have been better to try to uh, turn to the right here to flip the tank around and get our ass out of fire because horrible reverse speed it's it's too slow SU is starting to take uh, some trouble over there I don't know for my money it feels like this tank's going pretty slow something don't seem right Maybe the crew just isn't as trained. I think I have mine. I fed them a couple crew books. Just so they wouldn't be the shittest crew around. But going over here dealing with the Stug 4 is taking us away from the cap. And the cap is being pressured. Stug 4 is definitely in front. Tree fell. There we are. Just auto aim. Uh, probably should have gone for a bit of ram. But he's gone now. So, let's get the hell out of there. Let's not hang out. Not not a whole hell of a lot. It's unfortunate. And again, we're just kind of having some of that crappy reverse speed, but it's I guess it's half all right. Because uh, we got to keep what little armor we do have toward the front this time. So, you got, it's just with the stuck through, you got to be careful and know what you're doing. Panzer three decided he'd like to start making excuses. Very good of him. Yeah. So, I don't know. I, we got to somehow start making our way to the uh, cap. But we got a Panzer three that was lit for a few seconds. You may have saw it a little. Uh, unfortunate. Because, you know. When we gotta kill something, it's of course gonna shoot the track. Oh, that sucks. Okay, we're pretty much up shit creek right now. We gotta get our armor to the Matilda. Nope. No dice this time. This this was This was a little bit difficult. Although it's nice that the Panzer three might live. Where is he? Oh, he just might live. Place your bets. Uh, he's going and and he's about to get away with it. And he gets away with it. <laughs> yeah, they're really need to get some more attention to the hill. Uh, Stug four, of course, would have been a problem left uh, unattended. But uh, I don't know what was with that super zoom in on the uh, T6. You you kind of lost him a bit with that. And uh, I, like I said, I probably would have just auto aimed him because he wasn't paying any attention at all. It was just going to give me shots for days. But this this would have been a little hard to pull out the way it is. I, I don't have any definitive this is what should have been done. So it, it just got a little taxi. But uh, big, the best tip I have for the Stug 3 turn the entire tank around. Get clutch braking so you can turn it around even faster. Because it is faster to do a 180 than it is to go ahead and uh, reverse two feet. It is the strangest thing, and it's basically the only tank I would suggest doing that for. And, but, 
that's, that's all. So, go ahead and catch you later.